Yeah, hi guys. Uh, this is Pradeep Shivasov. I welcome you to my channel. I, today I am going to discuss about uh, you know the latest sales trends which is there in the marketplace. Not only in 2023, but it is trying, going to continue in 2024. So it's very important for the sales professionals and the businesses to understand this and work on this. So th that's the that's the objective of this. Uh, my only request is that it may be a little lengthy video because I wanted to cover these points. There 15 sales trends which I am going to discuss. So let's deep dive into it and please hear patiently. Please do not leave the video unless you see the complete video. That's my personal request. Yeah, let's deep dive. So uh, the sales landscape is constantly evolving in all businesses, uh, regardless the size of the business, regardless the segment of the business, everyone needs to be aware of the sales trends, which is there and adapt accordingly. Yeah. So I'm going to discuss about 15 sales trends, which are prevailing and will continue to be there in 2024. So please listen to this patiently. Please do like and subscribe. Please put your comments. Please share your experiences. Yeah. The first one is very simple. You know, it is about digital transformation. You well, see, we all know it's a digital world. It is a technological world. Nothing is left without technology. And so is sales. So there is a digital transformation which is taking place and hence it is very important not only it's for the but even for the sales professionals to be to adapt at using the uh, you know the digital tools the data analytics and the crm tools which is the customer relation management tools so that they can gain a competitive advantage yeah you all guys are aware of this I just wanted to emphasize a little bit and that's how it is, uh, that, that is the reason I covered this in the first point. The second important is point is personalized selling, personalization, yeah. See today the sales strategies have to be tailored to individual customers based on their preferences and needs because it is becoming increasingly crucial and important. So utilizing the customer data to provide personalized experience can lead to higher conversion rates, right and customer loyalty so guys you know personalizing the customer experience can help businesses not only to you know have customer loyalty but also will help in repeat business you know 60 percent of the consumers uh, as per the statistics have said that you know they would like to deal with the companies whose products or per services are personalized to their requirements or preferences so that's how it is important guys and we should uh, the businesses and the sales professionals should not ignore this point yeah the third important point is probably everyone has experienced uh, and it has become very important is the virtual remote selling skills yeah the third important point is yeah this pandemic has taught us many good good things as well yeah the few of the skills we have been able to upskill ourselves because of this situation and one of the important uh, skills was remote selling skills you know uh, so this is likely to continue because there are various advantages of this uh, virtual and remote selling skills so sales profession it helps the sales professional to build relationships communicate close deals okay through platforms so this has a significant edge you know so virtual selling has becoming is becoming increasingly popular and will continue to remain and businesses will continue to use this as one tool yeah but you see whatever parameter platforms so this has a significant edge you know so virtual selling has becoming is becoming increasingly popular and will continue to remain and businesses will continue to use this as one tool yeah but you see whatever parameters i'm talking about or whatever trends i'm talking about this all needs effective sales training to the sales employees so that they can use these uh, methods very effectively right the next one is data driven selling yeah. so data driven uh, data has become very important there is nothing without data there is nothing without technology so data is the prime thing in today's world right so sales professionals should be able to leverage data analytics to identify trends understand customer preferences the behavior predict future markets and come with informed decisions and target their efforts accordingly right data driven selling involves using the customer data and insights so that you can you know make sales strategies 
and tactics according to it. Yeah. Notwithstanding, you can you also use the AI power tools to probably analyze the data. Yeah. So that is what. So data driven insights and selling is very very important. The world is full of data. Nothing works without data, and you should not ignore data. You should you should be working on data. Next important uh, uh, trend, which is the fifth trend, is uh, the world is full of data. So the next important trend, the fifth trend, is customer success and relationship building. Uh, relationship building, we know for years has be, been a very important uh, way of you know you know engaging customer to give you business and continue to give you business again and again. This More important in today's world. The cust it we in other words we can say the 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 sales should be customer success sales you know so despite the digital advancement building strong relationships remains a cornerstone for successful sales the prof the sales professionals can establish trust rapport with the clients for continued success so customer success essentially means that you are focusing on long term success of customers rather than a short term sales yeah. So this trend is becoming very popular in the B2B sales and um, it helps you in getting increased loyalty and repeat business. Yeah. So, so, so uh, you know, we can't ignore uh, this important trend. Let me come to the sixth uh, uh, trend, which is social selling. We all know it, but probably I don't know uh, everyone uses that or not. If you are using, please write in the comment box. If you are not using, then please also put your comments that why you are not using. So leveraging social media platforms has become very, very important. Few of my friends, you know, they think, you know, that uh, social media is only for posting selfies and self videos. That's not correct, guys. It is probably we need to leverage the social media platforms, you know, uh, uh, for, uh, you know, what you say to connect with potential customers, right? Share valuable content and establish authority within the industry. This can open up with new avenues of sales. You know, social media has emerged as a powerful channel for engaging with potential customers. So please do use it. It is also very effective for building relationships. It is also effective for ultimately driving sales. So never think that you know social selling is not important for you. It is important for everyone. In fact, you know, 30 31% of B2B professionals have so please do use it. It is also very effective for building relationships. It is also effective for ultimately driving sales. So never think that you know, the social selling has helped them a lot. Yeah. So businesses should probably give some training to the sales guys to uh, you know ensure that how do they use uh, you know the social selling. The next important point is I guess one, but very important. In fact, I will cover this as in a separate video as well. Is AI and automation. So the familiarity of AI power tools, chatbots, automation platforms is very important for sales professionals and the businesses, right? This can help them to streamline processes, engage with customers at a scale, and focus on high priority tasks. So AI and automation has revolutionized the you know pardon me revolutionized the many industries and this can help you analyze huge piles of data uh, to get an overview of patterns and trends right so that is so uh, if you are using this uh, ai and automation 40 percent of your job will be done which will ultimately which ultimately means that it will enhance the productivity of not only your sales it will be make you make your sales process more efficient and it will help you win over customers more faster yeah so ai and automation processes it will be make you make you so guys uh, in this this today's world the world has become very small yeah because of the technology because of the faster uh, availability of uh, connectivity and all these you know so it is an opportunity for the businesses and the sales professionals for a global market expansion so this is the new trend guys don't ignore this with the ease of digital communication sales professionals can explore opportunities beyond the local markets because beyond the domestic markets you know you can understand the cultural nuances and global business practices so so don't ignore this point 
the ninth point is consultant value based selling this trend has been prevailing for the last couple of years and this will continue to this is you know this will continue to create more prom prominence and uh, will be an effective tool in this coming year as well so this means that you're positioning yourself as an advisor a trusted advisor to the customer for their problems and solutions so that they can have better business their business can prosper and that is how you have long term customer relationships you know today today the customers are more discerning okay than ever they demand more than the purchase so it's very important for you to get into the value based selling the consultative selling yeah so to be competitive it is very important that you get into value based selling right so to implement this value based selling you need to focus on understanding the customer needs and preferences you know work on the data and probably do some research from various sources on the customer and then come out with the solutions yeah so even understanding the customer behavior is very important uh, but not only the behavior the preferences as well so consultative selling and value based selling is the trend which will continue and is important notwithstanding in this digital e-commerce world the sales professional and the businesses need to understand e-commerce integration and omni channel sales selling why omni channel uh, selling uh, and it is very important uh, not only in the retail sales but also in the b2b sales so understanding e-commerce platforms and how they integrate with traditional uh, sales methods can be very very advantageous okay so today customer they expect a seamless experience while interacting with businesses right so which businesses and the company should adopt an omni channel sales approach offering customers a variety of social media platforms and brick and mortar stores uh, so that you know they can get this seamless seamless experience right the statistics say 73% of the shoppers use various channels at times so you can't be away from this and you, that is why omni channel sales and understanding e-commerce integration is very very important not only for the businesses but educating your sales teams as well for b2b sales and retail sales both right so guys i've covered 10 10 trends uh, there are another five trends uh, which will not take much time and i request your uh, you know patience uh please uh, i request your patience and please watch the complete video because that is then then only it will make sense and then only probably it can be effect you know useful for uh, guys like you or the business business and companies who are watching it so don't forget continue to watch this and like and subscribe and comment and share your feedback so the next limit uh, trend which is going to continue that this today it's a world of millennials right so millennials make up a largest general force today and they have a significant buying power it is very important that you uh, that you reach this audience you can't ignore this audience so how to to reach this audience it is very important that you have a strong online presence and use digital marketing as a tool uh, and use digital marketing strategies see millennials you know they they value authenticity and transparency right and they are more likely to purchase from companies who provide this right so don't don't ignore this market this was not existing before but this is going to expand more and more in the coming years and that is why millennial selling is important for any business as well as for the sales professional right let me come to the 12th point the 12th point is sales enablement what does this mean this essentially means that the com- businesses and the companies need to equip their sales teams with all these tools which i'm talking about they have to equip them with the tools they have to equip them with the resources and they have to equip them with the information right so that they can sell more effectively and win over the competition so 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 the company companies and the businesses have to have technology in place add more and more technology add more and more sales training may maybe by you know imparting sales training or creating sales pay playbooks or investing in technology but this has to happen right so that's what i mean about sales enablement uh let me come to the next point the next point is large account based selling 
you we we all know that uh, large account based selling is very important and as per the pareto principle also it's very important so this essentially means that you focus on a specific set of high value accounts and create a personalized sales strategy to meet their needs right this trend is gaining popularity among the b2b businesses because it enables to build not only strong relationships with the key accounts but ultimately increase the revenue right so the large account based selling is very very important guys and it has to be fo in focus uh, and the sales team should be trained accordingly and the company should focus their sales strategies accordingly last two points uh, it's a very very small points but uh, you know i uh, i think we can't ignore this that is the reason i'm going to talk about it the 14th sales trend upskilling and sales training all right so upskilling and sales training means the businesses and the companies have to have to focus on imparting continuous learning and upskilling of their sales employees so that they are better than the competition uh, they are aware of the all the trends and they know how to leverage on each and every point yeah so never ignore this point if a company has to succeed and is a has a long term vision to grow the top line it's very very important and last but not the least is sustainable selling now somebody will say why sustainable selling sustainable selling is very important because the government's focus is there and everybody talks about environment everybody talks about sustainability so it's becoming a greater concern for consumers right so the sales professionals should be educated enough to they that so that they understand what is sustainability and why it is important for the consumers and the customers so that when they talk they talk about the environmental uh, aspects and the ethical aspects that will win over the competition and the customer or the uh, consumer will immediately get attracted towards your product and sales so guys this were the 15 trends which i wanted to cover so guys this were the 15 uh, sales trends which were which were very important to be covered because this is prevalent in today's marketplace this is continue to gain momentum and prominence in the coming year and if the companies and businesses have to have a long term strategy winning strategy they need to educate train their sales people to these trends and work on each on every aspect i'm sure you must have liked it you must be having some personal experiences do comment and write please like and subscribe thank you very much